Hello and welcome to this video on circular motion and centripetal force. So first of all we need to do a few definitions because um, these words are going to come up in this and you need to have them correct. So speed is how fast something is going. Velocity is speed or with a direction. So velocity is how fast something is going in a certain direction. And acceleration is how fast velocity or how quickly velocity is changing. So this is where it starts to get a bit complicated. When something is travelling, it wants to travel in a straight line. So this object here is moving around in a circle, but it wants to travel in a straight line. And this is where the speed is measured. So this object here is travelling or wants to travel in a straight line and speed is going in this direction. But it can't travel in a straight line because it's moving in a circle. Now, whether it's a car that's moving in a circle or whether it's a bucket attached to the end of a string or whether it's a fairground ride, it doesn't really matter why it's moving in a circle. You just need to know it is moving in a circle. So to make it move in a circle, we have a force which is acting in this direction. And remember, our force is measured in newtons. Now, the force is what causes the acceleration. The speed is it going in a straight line. But if, if it wasn't... Okay, let me try again. I told you this was complicated. So this is the speed here. And we have something going around in a circle. Now, velocity takes into account the speed and direction of the object. So when the object is here, it's going in this direction. When the object is here, it's going in this direction. When the object is here, it's going in this direction. So when something's moving around a circle, its speed isn't changing but its direction is changing. And because its direction is changing, it is constantly accelerating. I know this is really, really tricky to get your head around. We go into this a lot more at um, A level. All you need to know is that because it's going around in a circle, it's constantly changing direction. Something that is changing direction um, in relation to the velocity is going to be accelerating. Okay, there are three things that affect the size of the centripetal force. The first two are obvious. The centripetal force will increase um, if the speed is faster. So the faster something goes, the bigger centripetal force is going to be needed to keep it going. And centripetal force will increase if the mass increases. If something is larger, you need more energy or more force to keep it going around in the same speed. Okay, the third one is a bit harder to understand. The centripetal force will increase if the radius of the circle is smaller. And the reason for this is if you have a small um, string and it moves here for say three seconds, it has moved along this angle 
that angle there. Doesn't really matter what the angle is, this is just an example. If I take the string up to here, I make it a lot longer and move it again for about three seconds and then track this back down. I know these are lines aren't very accurate, but this is just me drawing it. You'll see this angle here is a lot smaller. So with a shorter string, with a smaller radius, the centripetal force is actually having to put more force in to keep it going round. As opposed to the long force, it hasn't actually moved very far over that time.